everyone, welcome to this video where today I thought I'm going to have a look and see what remains of parts of the Nottinghamshire coalfield with Forsby Colliery closing in 2015 and being the last one in Nottinghamshire to shut down I thought well it's being redeveloped you know the land's going to be turned into a huge housing estate 700 800 houses plus other amenities in there as well so it's mostly going to be a bit of a video with the drone because you can't get near to what's at Forsby Colliery now there's a few warehouses and also Clipston as we know has got the rather tall headstocks so we're going to have a look at them a little bit later on immediately you're faced with this it's an old access gate for Forsby Colliery so that's not the way we're going to be going in we're not going to be going in there at all we're on a public footpath in a nature reserve so we're going to do is end up on top of one of the old slag heaps over there send the drone up and have a look at it from above At the very top we've got this nice little rotary millennium wood project it's like a little monument made out of stone and it was done on various sites all the way mostly across nottinghamshire and a little bit in derbyshire including the hope valley and places in nottinghamshire such as wollerton park workshop newark castle nottingham long eaton kirkby and ashfield the list goes on and it was sponsored by the Sherwood Forest Trust, Waste Recycling Environment and various other council and charities.
So, I love the little spot this. So we've got the two warehouses left, which I believe they're using for storage of equipment during the construction of this entire redevelopment area. Yeah, a little bit out of breath, it's quite steep. Uh, so, it's nice to see there's something left, but once the building advances, I can't see them staying around forever. So we're going to leave the outskirts of Edwinstow and Otterton behind, make the short journey. It's clouding over a little bit more, I've got blue sky over there, but I'm going in that direction. Nevertheless, I'm going to go over to Clipston, if the sky's nice, to say it's going to be mostly about the drone again. And I'll get it up and finish this off today. I'll see you there. So yeah, closed back in 2003, so pretty recent compared to a lot of pits. We've got a yellow sign on the side of that, it says coal prep. All visitors outside contractors must report to the coal prep manager's office for authorization to visit or work on the coal preparation plant. It's just such a shame that it's been vandalized in such a way. 
there's probably a dozen windows left that haven't been trashed by stone throwing and what have you. And inside those rooms up there where the windows are, there's still a lot of the um, power equipment, uh, fuse boxes, junction boxes. So what I've been walking on now is the former line between Clipson Colliery that went off towards Rufford Colliery and onto the old Southwold Mansfield line. So over there we've got the more recently used line which would have took you off towards Clipston Junction over that way and Mansfield Colliery and further on into Mansfield in that direction. In a previous video about three or four weeks ago I did the railway walk along the Mansfield line and we went over a bridge shortly after Clipston Colliery and I think we're going to be going under this bridge as we head on further around this corner down here. So at this point we are four miles away from Billsthorpe and a further seven miles, so that's 11 in total, towards Southall or Southall, whichever way you like to call it. Mansfield Railway, so Clipston back that way, Mansfield Colliery and Mansfield in that direction. That's the bridge we were stood on top of a few videos ago. What I find interesting, I don't think I've ever seen this before, you'd have seen it in the previous shot, but for a bridge we've got a couple of refuges. Look at that. That is brilliant, I've never seen that before. It's probably more common than I think, but Right, that's great. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the two former colliery sites and even this little stretch of former railway track bed that served the collieries. Uh, I'm going to leave you some shots of the Vicar Water Country Park, which I'm going to walk through to get back to the main road in Clipston. But other than that, take care, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Take care, bye bye for now. Bye.